What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dawn and I am your host where we talk all things human design, spiritual growth, and living your purpose unapologetically. Today we are talking about ego projected authority. And why are authorities so important? I say this over and over and over again because this is how we make our most aligned decisions. Most of us think we're supposed to make our decisions out of logic, out of our mind. That's what we've been taught but it doesn't always work out so well for us. So we take a look at human design and we take a look at our type, our strategy, and our authority. They tell us so much about how to live in alignment. So how do we get our authority? Well, it's based on which centers we have defined. So for the ego projected authority, this will be a projector who has the heart center connected to the identity center and a lot of the other centers will be undefined or open. So if you haven't already pulled your chart, please go to jovianarchive.com. That's the, the one I always recommend. I have no affiliation with them, but it's an easy way to get a free chart. You can pull it up. You'll see a whole bunch of shapes and colors and numbers, and you probably won't know what any of it means, um, but at least you can follow along with these series as I'm making these videos and talking about the different types, strategy, authority, profiles, all the different things that we'll talk about here on this channel. So if you want to dive deeper, check my website here. Go ahead and schedule a time with me to do your in-depth reading so that we can help you learn how to live your life unapologetically in alignment. All right, so back to the ego projected projector. Again, so this is obviously a projector. There is the heart or will or ego center, as it's referred to by many different names, and it is connected to the G or the identity center. So anytime two centers are connected, there is a channel between those two that connect it. And this particular channel is referred to as the channel of initiation or the channel of the shaman. So with this, many of these people have really shocking experiences, things that just really shake them and wake them up. And why do they have these? They have these because they are here to be guides, leaders, healers, and going through these experiences give them an awakening that allowed them to help carry this message. All projectors are here to be guides and the ego projected projector has a very intense experience guiding them into their purpose and, and who they're here to help and what they're here to do to fulfill that purpose. So let's really talk about the ego or the will or the heart center for just a moment because this is where the pull comes to in an ego projected projector. Everything is pulling towards the heart center. So the heart center is all about love and willpower. So it's very important for an ego projected projector living in alignment according to their authority to ask themselves certain questions. What do I really want? Is this good for me? And this may seem very selfish, as many of the ego, the ego manifested, the ego projected, and the self-projected projector all have this will center as their, their leading force. And so it is sometimes viewed by society selfish if I ask myself how this is going to work out for me and really look at what's in it for me. But these people with the ego center as their inner authority really have to take a second and find out what is really good for them and ask those seemingly selfish questions. So why is this so important? Because the will center, the ego center is all about willpower. And as an ego projected projector, you need to make sure you have the willpower to follow through with things before you commit to them. Because if you commit to things and you don't follow through, this is going to not feel good for you. It's not going to feel good for the other people involved. And so it's really about asking yourself, do you have the willpower to follow through with this before making a decision, before making a commitment? So as a projector, 
Waiting for the invitation is your strategy. And when you have this invitation, you will check in with your ego center, your will center, and ask those questions. How does this benefit me? Is this good for me? And ask those questions and you will feel that heart pull towards it or not. And then you will know if you have the willpower to go through with this or not. And here's what happens when any of us make something, make a commitment to something that we don't have the willpower to go through with or the energy to go through with or the interest in going through with, a couple things can happen. One is we don't show up and we've already talked about that. But the other thing is that we show up, we overcommit and we get burnt out, especially as projectors we go into bitterness. So if you are over committing and going to things that you don't have the willpower to do, but you feel obligated because you've already made the commitment, this will lead to our projector not self theme of bitterness. So don't allow the fear of others and what they think and anything outside of you other than your heart center to make this decision for you. So as an ego projected projector, having so much openness, it's really important to stay in tune with yourself, have time to release the energy of others that you will obviously pick up on from others throughout your day because as projectors in our openness, we have this focused and absorbing aura. So we will absorb the energy of others. And because you have so much openness, you are going to want to give yourself time to allow that stuff to be released throughout the day. So you can stay in tune with your own strategy and your authority versus picking up on the energy of others and using those not self energies to help you make your decisions, which will lead to decisions made out of alignment, which will lead to bitterness. Remember that the ego center is a motor center. So you can often feel like you have the energy and willpower to commit to things, but you may not. So continue to check in with yourself and be sure before you make those commitments that you have the willpower to follow through. I always want to give you a challenge. If you are new to human design, please Give yourself this challenge of 30 days of following your strategy and your authority. Make some journal notes of what happens. Start to pick up on patterns. Start to see is life giving you more ease and flow, less resistance. Which way do you prefer, following your strategy or in your authority or not? Take note of how things are going and see what happens. It's my experience and when people at least learn their type strategy and authority and start to live life according to these things, miraculous things start to happen in their lives. And that can be enough shift to help these people live their purpose. Okay guys, that is it for the Ego Projected Projector. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you and hear your experiences and know what questions you might have so that I can answer them in future videos. And if you've watched all the way to the end, I so appreciate you being here. Please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It so helps YouTube know that this is relevant content and will continue to spread this message to other people. Subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel and hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time a new video comes out so you can continue to learn more about your unique human design. Good luck editing this one, husband. <laughs> so, um, theme. Um, mm.